Hi there, in this video I'm going to do a pass exam question on integration. So let's take a look at the question. Question number three, using the substitution u squared is equal to 2x minus 1 or otherwise, find the exact value of the integral between limits 1 and 5, 3x over the square root of 2x minus 1 with respect to x. So let's see how this is done. Let's go to the paper and pen. So in this case, we need to use substitution. Now, if you're unsure about substitution, I did create videos on substitution and how the method works, along with a few more examples, and I'll provide links to those videos in the description below. So back to this example. Now, the idea of substitution is to replace the existing variables, x and dx, with new variables, which are gonna be u and du. And the big idea with the substitution process is to ease the integration process. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange because we need to replace x as well as dx. So let me rearrange our substitution given. So let me rearrange in terms of x. So 2x will be u squared plus 1. And x is going to be u squared plus 1 divide by 2. So I'm going to divide by 2 individually. So I'm going to calculate dx over du so that I can use this to replace the dx term within the integral. So dx over du, so if I differentiate x with respect to u, when I differentiate u squared over 2 with respect to u, I'm going to have u so multiply by the power, subtract one from the power, and if I differentiate half, that being zero. So dx over du is u, and dx therefore is u du. So if I pause there for a moment, so when I go through substitution, when I rewrite the integral, dx within the integral can be replaced by u du, and I can replace the 2x minus 1 by u squared, or you can replace the root of 2x minus 1 by u. Okay, either way, you're going to get the same thing. And x over here, we can replace by u squared over 2 plus a half. However, we have limits, and we need to work out the new limits. So these are going to be the new limits with respect to u. So these limits refer to the limits for x. Let's work out the new limits. To work out the new limits, we need to use a substitution. And first, let me show you how to work out the new lower limit. To work out the new lower limit, it's very straightforward. Take the old lower limit. The old lower limit is x, which is 1. So these are the x, the limits for x. So the old and lower limit is x is equal to 1. And put that into your substitution. So u squared will be 2 into, so 2 into x, which is 1, minus the 1. So when I simplify, u squared will be 2 into 1, which is 2, minus 1, which is 1. So u will be 1. So that is the new lower limit. Let's work out the new upper limit in the same way. So if I put in the old upper limit, so in this case, the new upper limit. So the old upper limit is x is equal to five. If I put that into the substitution, u squared will be two into x replaced by five minus one. 2 into 5 is 10, 10 minus 1 is 9, u therefore is the square root of 9, which is 3. So in this case, 1 being the new lower limit, 3 being the new upper limit. So with this in mind, let's rewrite this integral. So let me continue on the reverse. So by substitution
So let's have an integration sign. Let's rewrite the integral carefully. So we have um, dx, dx as discussed can be replaced by u du. So let's replace the dx by u du. So let me write the u du here. And just to be sure, let me tick the terms that we've replaced. So dx, that's been replaced by u du. And then I have a over, so over, root of 2x minus 1. So if u squared is 2x minus 1, u is the square root of 2x minus 1. So the square root of 2x minus 1, I can replace that by u. So over the u. And I have 3 into x. So x, remember, is u squared over 2 plus a half. So on top, I'll have 3 into u squared over 2 plus a half. So that is 3x. Not forgetting the limits. So the new lower limit is 1. The new upper limit is 3. So let's include them. The new lower is 1. The new upper is is three. So with all of this being said, I can simplify or I can cancel rather this u with this u so that within my integral this is what we're going to have. So we're going to integrate between one and three. Now this three I'm going to keep outside. Three is a constant, you can keep constants outside. I'm also going to take a common factor of half so if I take a common factor of half, combined with the 3 will give me 3 over 2. So in other words, I'm taking a common factor of 3 over 2 outside my integral, leaving me with a u squared plus 1 within the integral. So we're going to integrate that with respect to u. So let's integrate. So I'm going to leave the 3 over 2 outside. When I integrate u squared, add 1 to the power is u to the power 3 divided by the new resulting power being 3. When I integrate 1, it's u and the limits being 3 and 1. So when you replace the upper limit and the upper limit is 3, we're going to have 3 over 2, so 3 over 2 from here into u replaced by the upper limit 3. So 3 cubed divided by 3 plus u, u which is 3, minus 3 over 2. And upon replacement of the lower limits, the lower limit being 1, we're going to have u which is 1. So 1 cubed divided by 3 plus the u being 1. So this is what you should have upon replacement of the limits. Now, when you calculate this, eventually you're going to get a final answer of 16. So this should be the solution to this particular question. So this solves the question and this sadly also ends the video. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, a like rating is very much appreciated. Do plenty of practice related problems and I hope to see you again. Thank you.